Welcome to the project demonstration of touch screen based remote control robot. In this project, we are using a gripper for a gripper circuit. So this is a gripper for the close and and close and open. And this another motor we are using for the up and down. And also using two eight nine three Ds. So one eight nine three D is for the up and down and close and open. And another eight nine three D is using for the forward, reverse, left, right motions. And also using twelve volt two amp battery. Each battery have a four volt one amp capacity. So if we add batteries in a series, the battery the battery voltage will be added. Then the current will be in same series. So if we add this one in a series, so it will become a twelve volts with one amp rating. So twelve volt with one amp rating. If we add with that parallel, so it will become a twelve volt with the two amp battery. So we can uh, control, we can give the power supply through the switch, and also here we can see eight nine three D, sorry, Arduino Nano. So the Arduino Nano is connected between the ESP thirty two and eight nine three D drivers. So ESP here here we can see the ESP camera which is attached to the Arduino, uh, sorry, the process uh, robot. So the um, ESP camera. Will give the commands to the Arduino Nano. Then Arduino Nano will give the commands to the eight to nine three Ds. Based on the commands, it will be works. So Arduino uh, ESP camera is connected with the uh, Nano within a uh, UART communication or single wire communication. So the commands will be given by the browser. So first of all, we need to set up our hardware name. So here we can see we need to set our hotspot name like proid double six one six without any space without any capital letter and password should be one two nine. Then only this ESP thirty two camera have its Wi-Fi model. That Wi-Fi model will be connected to our phone. So we train that Wi-Fi model when the network have a proid double six one six and password should be one two nine. Then only we need to connect that network. So we train that light. Now we need to on the power supply. And also one thing I forgot to say that here here we can see buck converter. This uh, is a buck converter which uh, and also the buck converter name is LM two five nine six. So it takes twelve volt of input and it will give uh, five volts of output. So it will step down up to five volt. That five volts will be given to the ESP module. So ESP module generally works on the five volts of power supply. And Arduino Nano having a power supply through this eight nine three D. So 893D uh, have a inbuilt uh, voltage regulator. Here we can see voltage regulator. It is a 705. It takes 12 volts of input and 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 will provide output of 5 volts. That 5 volts will be given to the Arduino Nano. So after that, so here we can see one device is connected to our phone. After that, we need to go for the network analyzer app. So here we can see network analyzer app. We need to go that one. So the home interface of the network analyzer like this. We need to go for the three lines. And have to choose a line scan. Line line scan means local area network scan. We need to scan this one. Device connecting. We can connect in the device zero and zero. Half long. So here we can see express. So we need to go for this one, and we need to copy this uh, IP address, or we can open that one directly in a Chrome. So we can see the camera mode uh, visual, and also here you can see the commands: forward, back, and right, left, and open, close for the gripper, and light on, light off for the uh, uh, ESP32 camera light, and also up and down for the gripper. So now I am using forward. Backward, left, right, and open, 
close and up and down so if we uh, press the if, if we press continuously it will go forward now we can see so in this way if any object want to pick we using the uh, esp camera so that we can see the uh, uh, visuals of this uh, dripper in that way we will pick any uh, object using the esp camera module and also we are providing a charging circuit for this battery so the charging circuit have a step down transformer and rectifier so we providing a 230 volts of power supply through this power cable so it takes 230 volts of power supply and it will step down up to 12 volt 1 amp ac power supply that will be given to this rectifier rectifier converts ac to dc that converted dc is given to the battery so the uh, here we are using a full wave uh, bridge rectifier so the full wave bridge rectifier have a uh, 89 point of efficiency now we are connecting uh, giving to this battery so this is the ac input and this is the dc output so we need to charge this one now i am giving the uh, power supply to the socket so we can see the light indication which means battery get charging in this way this point will be works thanks for the watching